Excellency, when, when, when one thinks about Harlem, uh, names like Malcolm X, Nina Simone, and Langston Hughes come up, but when you talk about the liberation struggle and the community that the African American community, the, the role rather that the African American community played in supporting the struggle, a liberation struggle of Swapo, for instance, how does that all fit in? Can you give us a background on that? The late Sylvain Gurirap arrived here in the, in the 60s when he came on a scholarship to study here. Um, and at that time, as you would recall, the civil rights movements were very much in, in, in swing. And uh, there was a natural connection for Swapo that, and other liberation movements that were at that stage looking to promote our cause. Uh, so it is in New York where uh, Comrade Thiel Ben Gurirap, uh, President Hage Geingob, the late Dipo Amutenya and others, uh, first made their connection with solidarity movements that were uh, supporting our struggle for freedom and independence of, of Namibia, as well as uh, countries like Zimbabwe and, and others in our region. You mentioned the trio for the late Gurirap, the late Damutenya, and also, of course, our President Gengob. This is a generation that is slowly fading away. And one asks the question, what can be done uh, for the current generation to tap from this generation while they are still alive? We need to do much more to educate our young and our youth uh, to appreciate where we come from. It is that history, it is that foundation that will help us shape uh, the direction that we will take as we move into uh, the next phase of our struggles, that is the economic phase. There has to be a connection between what was the price to pay for us to get where we are today. And it is only through uh, initiatives such as the Theo Ben Gurirab lecture series and others, that we could make sure that the values that these leaders have stood for, the trials and tribulations that they have gone through, are shared with future generations. Finally, how has the United Nations community reacted to the death of Gurirab, considering that he once presided over the UN General Assembly? The United Nations remembers this man as an active, active man that has walked the corridors of the United Nations, pleading the case for Namibia's independence, not leaving any stone unturned in terms of mobilizing support for our cause. He is also revered and remembered for having presided over the 54th session of the United Nations General Assembly a very distinct honor indeed, if one is to consider that that was when he presided over a General Assembly that adopted the Millennium Development Goals, but also a man who then headed this organization that was now transitioning from the 20th into the 21st century. I do not believe that we would ever have that kind of experience ever again where the secretary the president of the general assembly presided into a new millennium he is in particular remembered for the strong support he had given to the people of the palestine as well as to the people of western sahara and it is these two courses that we are still associating with his name that we are we are all compelled and committed to support and to see it through. So indeed, he is known as a man with extraordinary diplomatic prowess, a man that has walked the corridors and has impressed people with his intellect, his wisdom, with his power oratory skills, and a man who has not been a pushover.